What is going on, everyone? H-Town once again. I need you to stand on your feet. The Houston Texans are going back to war, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the postseason. It is wild card weekend. The Houston Texans are hosting the Cleveland Browns, who they lost to a couple of weeks ago. Old man Joe Flacco has been lighting up every single team that he has played against this season. However, we know who wasn't there last time. We know number seven was out the game due to a concussion. This will be the first time the Cleveland Browns see Coleridge Bernard Stroud. And I'm going to go ahead and say it. Whenever C.J. Stroud is my starting quarterback, whenever he is out there on the field, I feel like I can win every single matchup in front of me. We are going to talk about this crazy playoff game. I have it being very close. Welcome, everyone, to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host, Ruben Calvillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content, so make sure you guys are following me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok for the latest news, rumors, and updates. And if you guys are new here, welcome. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this football season. The good thing is the Houston Texans, they keep on giving me things to talk about, man. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Now, starting with the Houston Texan offense versus this elite Cleveland Browns defense led by Miles Garrett, Zadarius Smith, Denzel Ward. I mean, from top to bottom, these guys are elite, but there are chinks in their armor. Let's talk about C.J. Stroud, who didn't get to play against them last time due to a concussion. C.J. Stroud, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the reason why we win this game. I mean, he is elite. He is the franchise. He showed you that last week against the Indianapolis Colts on prime time, the first prime time game of the season. And C.J. Stroud went 20 of 26, 264 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, and a quarterback rating of 134.1. This is a rookie, ladies and gentlemen, but he has not been playing like he just got selected number two overall in the draft just a couple of months ago. This is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, point blank, period. It seems like when the lights are on, C.J. Stroud performs to his best. I don't know why there was people criticizing and saying that he was not going to live up to the moment on Saturday. Absolutely absurd. Absurd. What C.J. Stroud has shown this entire year that he is going to be one of the next great quarterbacks in the NFL. And are we going to see that emergence during this playoff run? Because everyone knows, during the playoffs, the superstars separate themselves. Now, we just saw it on Saturday. And what's crazy is this game against the Cleveland Browns, even though it is technically the first playoff game, it doesn't feel like it because we just went through a win in your end situation against Indy, getting our 10th win of the season. I am confident in C.J. Stroud. He is continuing to be put in these big-time game situations. When he is in his prime, he is going to be unstoppable, ladies and gentlemen. C.J. Stroud is going to be the reason why we win this game. Now, who is he going to be throwing to? Well, I think the two targets last week are going to be the top two targets again this week. Nico Collins coming off of a 195-yard performance, one touchdown against Indy, and Dalton Schultz, five receptions, 42 yards. That was basically it from your pass catchers. Like I mentioned, this Cleveland Brown defense is elite, ladies and gentlemen. They have two stud cornerbacks, Emerson and Denzel Ward. Which one is going to match up against Nico? We know that their corners, they don't travel. But offensive coordinator Bobby Slowick, who has been getting so many head coaching request interviews, is going to have to scheme something up. Get the ball out of C.J. Stroud's hands. Get it to your playmakers. Dalton Schultz is a playmaker, ladies and gentlemen. I know the Cleveland Browns defense, another chink in their armor, is not being good against tight ends. Now, I think Dalton Schultz has been the best Houston Texans tight end since Owen Daniels. I'm excited to see how he plays against this Cleveland Browns defense on Saturday. An X factor to me is Devin Singletary. Now, Devin Singletary, whenever he rushes for 100 yards, the Houston Texans are undefeated. 
the Cleveland Browns defense is 22nd in the NFL against the run, allowing about four yards a carry. That's what Devin Singletary was averaging when he played against them a couple of days ago. I'm sorry, a couple of weeks ago. But because the Houston Texans were down pretty much 14 as soon as the whistle was blown, you didn't have to run the ball. You had to throw the ball to try to get back in the game. I want to see Devin Singletary with 20-plus carries on Saturday. Overall, I think it is going to be a back and forth between the Houston Texan offense and the Cleveland Browns defense. We've seen C.J. Stroud overcome so much adversity. He's going to have to do it again on Saturday. And Laramie Tunsil, stop, boss, starting. Now, switching to the Houston Texans defense versus the Cleveland Browns offense, another tough battle. Let's look at what Cleveland did last time they played the Houston Texans. Joe Flacco, 27 of 42, 368 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. He throws about one INT a game. The receiving attack, Amari Cooper, 11 receptions, 265 yards, two touchdowns. His longest was that 75-yard bomb along the sideline. I mean, there was no answer for Amari Cooper. Steven Nelson couldn't get him. Derek Stingley couldn't get him. He was just an animal playing against the Houston Texans. Tight end David Njoku, six receptions, 44 yards, one touchdown. Longest was 21. He had another solid day. David Njoku was one of, I mean, I think he is a top five tight end in the NFL. Then you look at old man Joe Flacco. How is he still doing this? Yes, he is throwing one INT a game, but he is also putting up 300-plus yards a game. Can you imagine if Nick Chubb was healthy? Jerome Ford, last time he played the Houston Texans, a non-factor, 15 attempts, 24 yards, 1.7 yards a carry, and one touchdown against the Houston Texans. I'm not worried about Cleveland's run game. You know who else wasn't playing against the Cleveland Brown offense? Will Anderson Jr. and Jonathan Grenard. It looks like you will have both those guys on Saturday. A huge boost to this Houston Texans defense. It's also a good sign knowing that the Cleveland Browns are going to be without their two starting tackles. The Houston Texans need to take advantage of this Put Joe Flacco on his back. They couldn't do that on 42 dropbacks. Joe Flacco was sacked zero times. Like I mentioned, there was no Will Anderson Jr. There was no Jonathan Grenard. And I feel like when the Houston Texans passed, there was also no Blake Cashman. And I feel like when the Houston Texans pass rush is in their rotation and you get a heavy dose of Barnett, Jerry Hughes, that's where I think the Houston Texans D-line is most effective when everyone is healthy and you're just evenly splitting these reps, man. I also want to see Will Anderson Jr. off that situational pass rush, your snap count. Let him play as much as he can, man. This is a big game, ladies and gentlemen. When you're talking playoffs, you are talking an opportunity to play for the Super Bowl. Our linebackers need to be on point. Christian Harris and Blake Cashman. Elijah Moore is a very good slot wide receiver in the NFL. And Jerome Ford can catch passes out of the backfield. The Houston Texans linebackers, they need to be on their A game. Our cornerbacks as well. However, I think Derek Stingley, after being snubbed from the Pro Bowl, has been absolutely lights out. I don't think Amari Cooper is going to go off again for 225 yards. I do think it's going to be a battle, though. I mean, this is a clash of titans, ladies and gentlemen. This is two teams fighting for a Super Bowl opportunity. You got to love it, man. The Houston Texans, they deserve to be here over what they did this season. Ten wins after seven combined wins in two years. Winning their division from Jacksonville, blowing it to the Tennessee Titans. And then Cleveland, losing their quarterback, picking up Joe Flacco, going on an insane run with him, with one of the best defenses in the NFL, losing Nick Chubb. This is going to be an absolutely insane matchup. But this is also where I look at head of coach D'Amico Ryans. Once again, you are going against a head coaching of the year candidate, like you did last week against Shane Steichman. Kevin Stefanski is a good coach in the NFL, ladies and gentlemen. 
this game is going to tell us a lot about D'Amico Ryans, but we've already known, l- learned a lot about D'Amico Ryans. I have the Houston Texans winning this game off of a field goal. I'm going to go 24-21 Houston Texans. Kaimi Fairbairn, 51-yard game-winning field goal. Ladies and gentlemen, you let me know what you are thinking. And for more Houston Texans content, y'all follow me for more. Go H-Town. Have a very blessed day.